What's going on YouTube? Up and Adam here and today I have another Madden 22 video. Today's video is going to be a gold mine of coin making methods, okay? The market absolutely tanked. It's it right now it's like a coin making dream, okay? I there's not really much else to say about that other than you can make coins out of like pretty much anything right now. So I'm going to show you the best ways to make coins if you have like a small stack, you have a large stack, if you want to risk a little bit, if you want to keep it safe and get some free coins, I'm going to show you all of that in this video. So it might be a little bit longer, but you will not regret it. So stick around for the entire video because you can do all these methods. So before we jump into the video though, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button. If you are enjoying the video, hit that like button and then turn those notifications bells on for more coin making videos in the future. So let's jump right into it. First thing that we're going to talk about, if you just got the game or you're just new to the game and you didn't know this, if you go into the challenges and go to the, the Legends challenges right over here, if you do some of these challenges, you get some free players. They are nat, so that means you can't sell them, okay? But you can make some coins out of it. So I just did three just to show you something. So if you complete all of these, you also get tokens to do a, get a free like boss legend if you get 40 stars but that's gonna be for another video but anyways you do these you get some free players and i'm gonna show you what i got and i'm gonna show you how you could turn those into coins okay they're these are players that you can't sell but there is some sets that you can put them into um to make some coins so there they are here are the packs you can either choose one of the players that you you worked on so you get the 87 blunt blunt or the jonathan vilma doesn't matter who you pick they are you can't sell them so I'll do that. I'll pick that one. I got two more to open. So you go into the sets, go all the way to exchange, go to player exchange. Then you're going to go all the way down here to the 89 to 90 overall ex elite exchange. Obviously with the other legend solos, they're going to be for like lower overall. So you can do these ones as well. But for the one that we just did, you got, you need to exchange three 87s or 88s to get an 89 or a 90. So I'm going to put in the free Nat that you, I can't sell anyways. They're pretty much free cards, right? Throw these in here. You're going to get an 89 to 90 overall. And that's going to be like between like 30,000 and like 50,000, depending on who you get. We got a 90 Walter Jones. It is currently selling for 55,000 coins. It sold two minutes ago for 55,000, three minutes for 55,000, six minutes for for. 48,000. So there you go. Free coins right there. 55,000 coins. I'll take it. Yeah, that was a simple method. This is going to be a, a little bit different as well. Really, really easy. But these, I know I talk about team builders a lot, but the team builder ones are extremely profitable right now. There's two of them in that I have in mind right now that I want to show you. It's going to be the Cowboys CD Lamb. Okay. And it's going to be the Debo Samuel of the 49ers. The reason why these two cards are going for really, really expensive, these 84s, is because a lot of people are just getting the game. People sold off their teams and are trying to build their team again, all right? And you need these 84s to be into their power-ups. Like, CD Lamb has a 94 card. Debo Samuel has a 92 overall card. And you need these 84s in order to power them up. So all you need to do, get three 80s, which are going for about 2,000 coins each on the auction house. And then you need... 375 to 79s, which you probably already have in your binder. Okay. If not, they're about like less than a thousand. So this whole set would cost you two, four, six, seven, eight, nine tops, like max right now. 9,000 coins. Let me show you what they sell for. So here they are. We got Debo first. Go in there, click auction. Selling for 25,000 coins. List this thing up for 25,000 coins. We paid less than 9,000 to build. That's a huge profit. Obviously, this is not going to work long term. As more people watch the video, more people are going to start doing this. So take advantage while you can. There's a nine, this is going for like 19,000 right now. I'll throw it up for 20,000. That is still a huge profit. Like I said, paid less than 10, uh, less than 10,000 coins for it. Made about 10,000 coin profit, if not more. So very, very easy. Those team builders, some of them go for a lot too. You just got to go check. But those are the two main ones that are going for a lot more right now because they have big upgrades. Always check the cards who already have big upgrades that you need their 84s to power them up fully, okay? That is my advice to you. Now, 
Those are two very simple coin making methods, all right? Very, very easy. I'm gonna bring in one more coin making method for you right now, okay? And that's gonna be using our spreadsheet. So, I'm gonna show you something. This set, in particular right now, is really profitable. So, I'm going to the harvest, I'm gonna go to champions, and I'm gonna build this Beyond Sanders. Right now, to, to each night, you need 392 harvest players. Each of them are going for about like under 90,000, okay? So I got the I got two of them for 88,600, and then I got the other one for 89,600, okay? I'm gonna show you the math in a minute, but this Dion Sa Sanders, his card sells for 235,000, okay? And his power up is going for about 20,000 points. So let me go pick these cards, and then look what you get. You get and and that cards right you can't sell them you can't trade them or anything like that but you do get them back again if you're building a team great all right you get three of them i i don't personally need them however i can quick sell those you get back seven thousand five hundred trading now let me show you some math so like i said the dion's gonna go for about the power is gonna go for about twenty thousand whoops i know you'll probably see like 18 19 you this is up for 20 it'll sell all right and then for the the 94, I've been selling them for about 235. Some of them will go cheaper, but if you just leave them up, they will eventually sell. Like you can see, 239, 231, 232. I listed for about 235 and it eventually sells. Okay, so now let me show you the data to go along with this one and why it's so important to be using the spreadsheet to always check on it because there's so many coins in old sets that we forget about. Okay, so we're in the spreadsheet that obviously our guy Mutt Lane built. So great. Uh, there's so many different tabs, but here's our MCAT calculator. So the set for the Harvest Champion. We know the champion, the Dion, sells for 235. We know his power-up goes for 20. So combined, after tax, we're going to get back 229,000 coins. We know that Harvest, the, the 92s, I got, I told you, 88,600 for two of them, and then 89,600 for the other one. I spent a total of 266,000 coins. So you're wondering, yes, you lost. You lost almost 40,000 coins. I did. I did lose 40,000 coins. However, I still have this remaining 7,500 training that I got for those end cats. I still have this remaining 7,500, okay? So that means the training value, I spent about 37,000 coins on 7,500 training so i got my training for about five coins per that is really really cheap training okay obviously if i got these for like cheaper this would be even lower all right so the main thing why i want to share this one with you because by the time you watch it this might not work exactly uh, as well as it, it was working for me but the main thing is to check on these different sets right we have the stocking stuffers we've got the zero chill cards that you can add in there the ultimate kickoff uh, campus heroes, most feared. Okay, we're gonna constantly be adding the, all the new NCAT sets that there are in the game, so you can always check on it. All you need to do is come into the spreadsheet, click file, make a copy, and then just input the prices yourself. Very, very easy, okay? I did wanna share that with you because when the market crashes like this, there are so many opportunities to make coins in old sets that are in the game. Another Another coin making opportunity that you have, this is more of a tip than a method, is to sell your power ups that you have in your in your binder. Okay, there is some power ups because the market when the market crashes and training goes really really cheap, you can see, you can see. Look at these power ups I'm selling: five thousand, three thousand. There's like five thousand for these ones. These are just all sitting in my binder, and they're selling. I made a ton of coin just from binder trash, just from my power up selling, Godwin going for 10,000 because people are building their team now and the training is so cheap that they're starting to power up all their players. So if you sell your power ups, they're going for a decent amount. You can see all these. Look, I sold a, a Justin Herbert for 50,000 coins. That was the cheapest one on the block. All right, so go and check your power ups and start selling them while the market is crashed, okay? So that's a quick coin tip for you. I just sold this. CD lamp for 20,000 as well, which is nice. And the last method that I want to share with you is going to be cheap training and a reroll. All right. This reroll right here is actually still really solid and it's even better now 
that training crashed and snow didn't really go down that much okay training crashed but snow stayed where it was at maybe a little bit down but pretty much stayed around that like one to one conversion rate so this is means that this this reroll is way more profitable all right i'm going to show you a couple sets of data here one from my role, I only did about 50,000, so I don't really like only doing like a small sample size. I like to do a large sample size. I didn't have time to roll my own, but a friend of mine shared his rolls with me. He rolled a ton, and I'm going to show you both of those rolls, and then you can go and decide for yourself. Obviously, this one's obviously more risky than the past ones I showed you. The other ones are definitely guaranteed coin making methods, while this one is a bit risky because there is that risk of a reroll, but their LTDs impacts, and there's gonna be a lot of LTDs throughout the week. So I think this could be really solid if you got your training for under 7.5, that it was, okay? So in this spreadsheet right here, it shows the cost of the snow, all right, how much they're going for, and then the training value. So I'm gonna put training at like seven right now, and it shows to roll that reroll, it's only gonna cost you 6,300 coins to roll that, all right? So you can see here, the only card that you're gonna lose on is gonna be the 78s, the 79s and the 83s, right? If you pull an 85 or higher, you're winning on that roll. Plus there's LTDs in that pack, which is nice. So go to my zero chill rerolls. And here's what I got. This was my roll. I got, this was like at six coins per. I got my train for really, really cheap, mind you. And this is what I got. I didn't get, this was a pretty bad roll. I got 191, 289. The rest were pretty bad. And I still ended up coming out ahead about 12,000 coins. <laughs> not bad right like 12,000 coins I can't be mad and plus worst case scenario when snow goes up it's only I got my snow for 1.1 which is pretty much on par with what it is currently right now here's one of them all right so he got his training for 6.4 this is what he was selling at I think they've come down a little bit more than that recently but he made he did 293 uh, rolls here and he made about 1.15 million after tax okay he got 393s no ltds though but you can see there he's pretty much profiting almost on everything he's profiting on almost every single roll except for those 83s and under that is all the different coin making methods i have for you now obviously there's a lot more in the game that i can go over and things like that but i'll leave it at that for now just so you can get in on it and start using it I'll have more coin making methods throughout the week, so make sure to hit those noti bells on because whenever I, I post a video, make sure you're in there early because they work a lot better when you're in early, all right? I'll catch you with another video very soon. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, drop a comment down below, and I'll catch you with another one very soon.